We're going to get a check now on your El Nino forecast and Dirk explaining what it is and what the status of it is. Dirk? Yeah, I got your El Nino update going on right now. And what El Nino is, of course, it's the warming of the sea surface temperatures in the uh, well, eastern Pacific, in the tropics. And this is a map showing you those areas where you get into more of the orange colors and red colors. That's above average temperatures for the sea. And so as we zoom in this area here that has, again, the kind of reddish orange color, this is where El Nino is taking place. So that is what El Nino is. El Nino is not a storm or something you can track in that regard. It's something along the equator, so it's in the tropics, and it's the warming of the water in through the eastern Pacific. Now, what does this mean for us? Well, the El Nino forecast, actually, as we go through this season, is predicted to be anywhere from strong to very strong. And that's good news because with that, usually we do see a pretty good chance, at least it increases our chance, of having a wet winter. Doesn't guarantee that we are going to have a wet winter, but the chances are much better than if we didn't have an El Nino. So looking across the nation, you can see where, what the chances are of having an above average rainfall. This is the long range forecast for December, January, and February. Again, the hardest it's going to be Florida with a 60% chance of above average rainfall, and they already get a lot of rain. Well, here in Northern California, we have a 33% chance of having some above average rainfall this season. That means we could see up around 20 or more inches of rainfall. That's the forecast, but we'll have to wait and see how things pan out.